Hey, it's Mike, Old Religious Dystopia. So Monday, I had Josh and Piggy join me in a show, and then eventually Tex showed as well from Texas, uh, from Porsche. If I said it right, if I didn't say it right, Tex, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, um, one of the things towards the end, uh, I brought up two images to share with the guys, and the first one was this one that was filmed on. Four or April the seventh at four twenty-nine p.m. in Site GR, and which I believe, well, at least it sure looks like a Bigfoot. And what those guys pointed out, an infant was in a tree. What I also discovered when I second this morning, uh, looking at it, it might be possible that Vicky was right when he said he saw a backside here. Cause that looks like a foot <laughs> and uh, so if we look at this this is the entity in question and this is the foot in question this is where the infant would be holding on to the adult whatever and there's a big foot or something else I ain't gonna tell you but it looks like that's the cone head up the, and then the face front face Chin. Uh, looks like the bicep and then the arm, paws, or hand, the elbow, and then this might be its leg, and it might be, this leg might be going like this, maybe, I don't have good software to bring this out, I think there might be more than, uh, uh, text feels this is a branch, it might be so, this might be a withered arm, I might be right, I have no idea. It looks like it might be another one on top of this. It looks like this, like a big, this might just be what people call a clan of <laughs> some sort or a family. But the other side of here, there's some, There's another one here somewhere. Um, this is just the image. There might be one here looking as well. It was like a mass of them just popping out of the tree. But anyways, there might be one look in here as well. This paws and this arm right there. But there's a foot. I don't know if it's, it's whose foot it is. But it looks like it got toes. And, it, and it's the backside, the bottom of the foot. If this is the case, this is the rarest of rarest photos in many respects. A... If the subject in question is a Bigfoot, it's holding on to an infant, which you don't see too often. And on top of that, and maybe more important, we see the actual backside of the foot, the bottom of the foot. So, I don't know. We'll listen to the conversation anyways, because these are the guys that brought up the fact that it was an infant, which I thought all this was like a just massive bicep and... and because it looks that way until someone pointed out and said, no, that's actually an infant. I think it was Biggie that's the first one to mention it. And then Josh and then Text, he, he corrected me on it. I don't know. Is that a foot? If that is a foot. And, and there really is an infant holding on to an adult. And it's in a tree. It might be one of the most special images and one of the best images that we've got in a long time. I'm just saying. All credit goes to the Most High, the Lord of all spirits, and definitely not me. He just took me to that spot. So, so um, I'm sure that you gentlemen have not been paying attention to what I've been sharing the past week. You're busy doing your own thing, so I want to share uh, at least one image with you guys. Yeah, I got two kids. I don't have much time. <laughs> um, let me get. Excuse me. The camera here, and then I want to um, let's uh, share a screen and get back to share a screen because I I filmed uh, 
quite a, I thought I'm pretty proud of this. I uh, filmed this in the edge of the woods of uh, one in a tree. And you guys are going to see this. And it's quite uh, revealing, I think. I think. Now, it's, mind you, it's a distance. So it's, you know, the, because of the distance, it's not going to be perfect. But it's there's enough details that you're going to be able to see how big his freaking bicep Ooh, is. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's like mine. It is your brother. Who's going to give me a hard time? <laughs> okay. Um, let me flip this. Well, I'm looking for, because I wasn't planning on this, but I'm like, but yeah, I bet these guys don't even know what I've been up to at all. <laughs> They're so busy with their own lives and doing their own thing. So uh, where do we start with here? So this is the dude. I, I, I wanted to start with the more original picture. Because, because so that you guys know that, because you know what happens. You know, you you have the cropped image, and it does it doesn't give anybody real perspective of what they're really looking at if, until they see the original image. Great. So I'll start with image nine ninety, so nine fifty nine, and then I'll go to the close up so you guys can see this little enhancement so that. You know what I mean? It's important. I believe that you see the, the the original image, and then we go from there. So I'm. This is site G R, and this is super, super, super uh, paranormal and squashy <coughs> site. Um, let's see if I get this out of the way so I can see you guys and see the screen. So you can see this is a big old. These are a bunch of. Um, like silver maples, mature silver maples. So there's a stream of behind it and all that. I am about a hundred yards away from this place or so. And then you, so these, these are pretty big trees. Some of these are at least easily 60, 70 feet, maybe 80 feet tall. So in this right here, I found one in a friggin' tree. Check this out. Filmed this Friday. You see the guy starting to pop. This is his head. <coughs> One arm. This is his other arm right there. I see something there. His butt. His backside's hanging out the other side of the tree. No, that's something completely different. There's a. There's. There's actually an entity right here. A spirit here. There's actually a, a Native American spirit. You can. But this is for another. This. This is his tri. This is tricep. His bicep. His forearm. This is where his hand is. This is his head. Now he's jet black. Yeah, so to me, it looks like it's up higher. It looks like a baby on the mama. You go up higher, it looks like a, a well, head. This definitely, like a baby well, give me a chance, bro. Give me a chance before. Well, that's cool. We both got one in a tree. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, I've seen him <laughs> come out of a tree and I've seen you. We've both we've all seen that, right? So it's... um. Okay. I'll send you a picture of one at camp up in the tree next, right next to Biggie's hammock. So we get to here, and we'll get to. So uh, while I'm farting around finding some close-up images, it's, he's right there. He's, it's it's such a, I mean, considering the distance and where it's at, it's. A, I think it's pretty. It's not like you know super de super super detail, but for considering. You look, you know, how it all. I'm cool with it, so we'll see if we can find some. That's a good shot, man. Good find. Yeah, that that place, dude. I I I got one. I got one that literally is manifesting out of the tree, which I'll show you next if you're interested. It, and it's, I mean, you can see its eyes and everything. Uh, now, whether it 100 it's a Bigfoot, that's that's up to debate. But whatever the heck it is. Because I wasn't planning on showing this, I was planning, I wasn't planning on the show going down this road, but it's going down this road, so let's go with it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, anyways, I this is the image that I tweaked it with, just you know, just the contrast, lighting, uh, color, and all this, so you can kind of bring it out a little bit. You can definitely, this is his tricep, his bicep, his big forearm, his elbow, this other arm is withered. It's, it's holding a baby. 
Uh, it might there might be a baby right there, but that's cool. I can I can deal with that. I can accept that. But that right there might be the baby. But that is his bicep, man. That's his deltoid right there. That is his elbow. There is his wrist. You can see his eyes. That's the cone of the, the shape of his head. Yeah. And it's jet black, you know, and, you know, so it's it's hard to get great detail, even in daytime. But, I mean, and that was, was in the tree, man. You know, and okay. I would, I, 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 I any, I mean, you can, I guess you can say it's pareidolia, but I'm not buying it. Not this one. I ain't buying that at all. That's an entity flat out popping out of that damn tree. And now, um, from distance and all that, a guy from here to this, you know, this just leaning right here, that's about six feet that I know of. So that is, it's about, I guess you may say 20, 20 feet at least up in the air. Is it a Bigfoot? Is it somebody uh, said it was something else? Like something to me, it looks like a like to me, it looks like a mom and baby, but popping out I mean, again. Yeah, it and it looks like it's holding a baby. I mean, you can clearly see a face there. I see the head above that little where it branches off with of a State goes up in the angle. Oh, I, 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 I wanted to hear what what uh, Tex had to say. He's probably, oh God, he's dead. No, <laughs> so, what do you think it is, Tex? What do you? I mean, you looked at a ton of image yourself. So well, what, if I if I'm completely honest, when you zoom back in for a minute on the picture, yeah, that oh. that picture right there, the one that one right there. Okay, zoom in. Now, this is just me tweaking it and trying the best I can to kind of change it a little bit. Okay. See, I'm with these guys. You can clearly see two faces. You can see it breasts. Looks like a baby looking up. Well, like when you're carrying a baby in your arm and they're looking up. Oh, at you. are you guys saying like this is the face right here? And the, that's yeah. the baby. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. I never didn't even think of that, but maybe and that it, is okay. It, honestly, if you look, okay, see where the right below the, the what we're calling the baby's chin that light part it almost looks like a little arm and a hand going across her chest yep right here right. yep yep and this could be like another arm right there holding on to her yep yeah. let's see let's, let's see what it looks like but i think it's definitely a baby on, on so this is, is the, this, this this is right not, there that's beautiful you can see it look this is not tweaked at all so and uh nothing to no change in color contrast this is just me it doesn't me. change the picture though it's still <laughs> it's a different color exactly um, see the baby I, the okay when when you said the other arm is withered I, okay. that's what the, i don't, the, look, I, I don't think that i don't think that's arm Okay, tell me, tell me, because you know, maybe I think I'm that, wrong. I think that's a branch of some kind. Because if you look, it's darker than than the actual figure that we're looking at, right. and it goes straight through all the way down below, and it right. gets narrow. It tapers off as so it goes down. We can look at the so original I think, image. I think that may be a tree branch of some kind. We can kind. look at the original image and see if that is the case, and that might just be the case. Yes, so that's still a hell of a option, Mike. What's that? It looks like a binder. That's still a hell of a picture, I think. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, how many times do you <laughs> film one? How many times do you film one in the tree? That's about my point, and the biggest point yeah, is how many trees. Well, it seems to be happening more and more. You know, but I, I will say this also, and I don't know, guys. When I first looked at that picture and he blew it up, I could have swore I saw ears on the side of its head, but. You saw uh, ears. So I almost went. I almost went. Man, that looks almost like a dog man. Well, we I have good photos of a I dog man it in my area. I'm filming things that look like a cross between a bigfoot and a dog man. Does it have a tail? It, it no tail. All dog men don't have tail. Yeah, I don't see that. You're right. That's why I asked if it had a tail. 
no, no tail. And and um, you know, we talk about the Ohio uh, grass man. Now that's out northeast of Ohio, but I'm in northwest Ohio, the place we're not supposed to be. I mean, there's I don't think that there might be one or two reports. Period. If anybody's seeing anything, right? So we're not supposed to be having any of this stuff, according to what the the big shots are saying. And yet. I'm filming it, seeing stuff, had encounters and everything, and you know, I, I, I think there's a reason that all these big names don't have all the stuff that we're getting. Well, tell us what it is, because you've been around I don't a lot. Know. I just, I don't know, but I think there's a reason. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, could there be possibility there's out external pressures being put on them to keep them? Uh, well. Uh, there, it's no secret that when um, they go on TV, a lot of them have to sign uh, no, non-disclosure agreements. Okay, we know that. Um, and I've talked to a lot of these folks that have been on these TV shows, and 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 they're actual friends of mine, uh, Ken and and Lyle and Cliff, and and a lot of these folks. And They, they are, they, the thing about it is they get wrapped up in these TV shows. That's the reason I turned down two TV appearances because I, I, I went back and I got with these guys that's been in, been in that world. And I said, look, I got an offer. I got an offer from um, this certain channel and this certain channel. I said, what, what, if y'all ever dealt with them, can you tell me what it's like? And they said, yeah, you won't come out with anything. And half of what you say is going to be twisted. So I'm like, well, that's not where I'm going with it. So um, that that's, I didn't want to do it, you know, and that's not really what I'm, that's, that's not what I'm in it for. You know, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't want to be freaking famous. I, I could care less about that. Shit. Yeah, to me, it but, sounds like a nightmare is what it sounds like. Yeah, exactly. Of it. Exactly. All you do, you think we get questioned now? Oh my gosh. You know, but I know they, I know those, I know those, some of those guys, have had experiences that they won't talk about. I know they've had, um, they've got evidence that they can't show because it's not their property. So, you know, because they, yeah, but, I mean, you got to understand the, the big, the main narrative doesn't want this stuff out. You know, yeah, it's okay. to the level right now where they can still write us off as crazy, you know, so, well, we're trying to change that. You know what I mean? We're trying to right. say, listen, you know, so that's the way, you know, this thing is like my approach to what I want to do is fellow researchers, if you have a safe, safe place to share your, your information and we may not agree with everything, but share your information. You know what I mean? I mean, you guys pointed out something. I didn't even see the baby, but anyways, I check this out. The baby. Uh, and it's always good to have more one eye, especially when you're not always seeing things clearly. Like I mean, I started the show. I what I mean, I I told on myself, right, gentlemen. I I said, oh, that looked like a spirit. I told it was alive. I find out later in a different picture from a different day that it's a hanging branch, and I right. had a, a tell on myself that everybody swallow crow. But that's part of the process. This is. Uh, <laughs>